Um, we, uh, two weeks ago, we had a financial guidance and planning program, and, and the purpose of the program was to, I guess, increase the uh, financial literacy at our law school, and so it went really well. We had a person come in from Everett Jones, Northwestern <laughs> Mutual, I think med school might do, do something like this too, Paul, maybe. Uh, but, and then we had uh, Frank, I mean, Dave, Micah Bogue from the financial aid office come over. Uh, and so it went really well. Uh, we're working on our barrister's ball, which will be, what's the day on the barrister's ball? April 9th. April 9th. Uh, I'm not going to invite you all this year. I think Victor invited people last year, so I won't do that. Uh, and, because uh, you can't come. But, uh, um, and that, so that's, that's, yeah, that's it. So thank you. <laughs> all right. Uh, one thing I heard important is that we have seven students from the dental school that will be attending the American Student Dental Association, dental Association National Lobby Day in Washington, D.C. Uh, from Saturday through Tuesday. So they will be lobbying, lobbying our senators and representatives on uh, issues that are near and dear to dental students' hearts. So that's all I have for today. All righty. Nothing Zach's here tonight, so I'll take over for him. Uh, the only big thing happening on our ticket right now is Cadaver Ball, which is coming up a week from this Friday, uh, April 1st, and that's not a joke. But uh, like <laughs> Barrister's Ball, we can't invite you to it. But it will be fun, I can guarantee that. So. <laughs> All right, graduate school president Travis Galt. Uh, yeah, we don't have too much to report other than our third annual graduate research symposium is next <coughs> Friday. It will be in this <coughs> building. and. That's the, the biggest thing coming up on our agenda. Thank you. Town School President Kate Dennis. Um, we are planning a career fair for this Thursday. It's in the SAC multi-purpose room from 11 to 2, so there'll be free food if you all want to come. And um, we're trying to get our next year's council set up, and we're also planning a licensure workshop for um, the graduating students. <coughs> We're going to move on to reports of boards and standing committees. SGA Supreme Court Office Bromeyer. SGA Senate Executive Board Chairman Deep Agarwal. E Board did not meet last week because of spring break, so we have any business to go. SGA Senate Academic Policy Board Chairman Curtis Brazil. Academic Policy Board did not meet because of spring break. Um, our next meeting is March 31st at 8 p.m. Uh, if you're not personally going to be there, send a proxy. Um, Jody Heil is expected to be there, and so we're working on transitioning him and teaching him what you all want to see out of ABB. Thank you. SJ Senate Appropriations Committee, Chairman Mike Shane. Uh, Appropriations Board did meet and uh, reviewed, three different ca uh, reviewed three different requests that we'll bring up in new business. Thank you. SJ Senate Development Board, Chairman Travis Galt. Um, the board is meeting briefly after this meeting here, but other than that, no report. Thank you. SGA Senate Student, or oh, yeah, Student Organization Board Chairman Ben Donlin. Uh, we did not meet because of spring break. Right. So we had no recommendation. SGA Senate Facilities Committee Chairman Abby Smith. <coughs> no report. Thank you. SIB Liaison Chairman Ben Donlin. Right, I do have stuff. Uh, first of all, Chair Vice Chair applications for SAB are due April 1st by 5 o'clock at the Student Life Office. Uh, post and the, the applications are on the website. Uh, <coughs> most secret tickets are on sale for $7 at Student ID. Uh, there are only 700 left, um, and they will go quick. Uh, Quidditch is next Tuesday at 5 p.m. at the intramural field. And there's a game watch party for the NCAA basketball championship game on April 4th. So when did you say uh, the packets were given for? April 1st. Yes, they should. Uh, 
then I'd need to put the bylaws in the old business note and decide to the bylaw revision board. Okay. Motion on the floor is to move the bylaw revision into old business. Is there a second? Is there any discussion? All those in favor of moving the bylaw revisions to old business, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. Is there any discussion? All right. I moved to open discussion on the bylaws. Is there a second? No. <laughs> I actually had something else I wanted to do first. Okay. Motion on the floor is to open discussion for the bylaw revision. Is there a second? Okay. So, is there any discussion? I would actually like to, uh, before we get into old business, I'd like to allow the appropriations request to go through before we get into discussion of bylaw revisions and the uh, and the motion from last meeting. Uh, new business in there. Hmm? Is that a motion? No, I, no, that's in discussion. Before we get into these, I was I wanted to go through the appropriations requests first and amend the rules of the day to. If I remember them. correctly, the SOB bylaws weren't that controversial, okay. so they'll well, pretty much. Just and I'd be okay with moving appropriations up to the top, essentially finish the bylaws. Okay. Okay. Is there any more discussion on <coughs> the floor is open for discussion of bylaw revisions? Is there any more discussion? I move to approve the bylaw revisions as stated. Is there any discussion? Okay. All those in favor of approving the bylaw revisions, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say nay. Are there any extensions? All right. The bylaws have been passed. I move to approve the appropriations request. Uh, I move to amend the orders of the day so we can approve appropriation requests. Second. Second. Is there any discussion? <coughs> All those in favor of amending the orders of the day to consider the appropriations request, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say nay. Are there any extensions? Okay, the ayes have it. I'd like to make a motion to approve uh, appropriations request AP 035 through 037. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? <coughs> okay. Uh, we received three requests today. Uh, first one, all three from, well, all three were from the travel fund. First one was from IOTA Phi Theta uh, Fraternity for $750. Uh, second was from Beta Theta Pi Fraternity for $600. And the last one was from the Prudential Society for $100. All of these were approved by uh, the Appropriations Committee, and we submit them now to set. since last Senate meeting uh, and for and you cannot request funding for the same event twice so whatever we approved is what they get they can't come back and ask for more okay. we passed it last week on the contingency that yeah. they needed more can they come back and speak with us so okay I, was, I wasn't here last week so yeah. Yeah. they haven't come back since last week no. I talked to uh, Katie Reese who's the in charge of that organization uh, or in charge of that event and <coughs> I guess she wasn't able to come, nor was the other Aaron Dyke. He wasn't able to come either. So she didn't know, I guess, that they did. And I wasn't, I didn't come until after the meeting. I guess the appropriations had started. So um, I told her today, so she's going to talk to Suzanne um, about perhaps coming or you know, doing something so that they can perhaps get more money for it. All right. We're going to move on to Senate Resolution 2010 11.11. Um, I, have, well, I have one quick email um, to read before we open this Well, yeah. Um, move to open the discussion. Is there a second? Sorry. Is there any discussion of what? Just in general? On um, the resolution. Oh, okay. Um, this is 
information, so Senate may do whatever they want with this. Um, it is not an official opinion yet, but this is a message from the court that I was asked to read today. Um, the general election and the runoff election have both been certified. Curtis has won the presidency. The ongoing debate regarding elections from two weeks ago appears to be irrelevant as it has been dismissed by the court. The opinions from the court are currently being posted along with detailed information about the election on the page um, of the website. Alex Romeyer, Chief Justice. So it's Well, um, I was just going to say that, well, I'm going to come up and amend it. Do we have it on the computer up there? Yes. Okay. Oh, you want to oh, yeah. Okay. Well, essentially what happened last week, for those who weren't there at the end, I don't blame you. It dragged on forever. Sorry about that. Uh, what ended up happening was Allison Hunter proposed a great amendment that was actually Dean Martin's idea in the first place. And it was mostly aimed at keeping the Kent School from being disenfranchised. And the uh, problem at the end was that we couldn't actually pass the amendments. We didn't have form anymore to make any binding uh, decisions that the court would have to abide. So we did actually send a letter to the court asking them to hold off on certifying the election results until after we had a chance to uh, finish debating this, which they decided not to do. <coughs> this one, Travis? So, uh, uh, yeah, it's the word. Okay, thanks. Um, so what I was going to do today was put in the amendment that we had last time and just essentially vote on it. I'm going to cut this thing down because it's far, far too long and we don't need to discuss all of this. But long story <coughs> short, we start with problem number three. The Kent School wasn't able to vote in the elections. Uh, they said that they could send in emails with their vote on them, but that's not constitutional uh, according to 607.1. Uh, and because of that, they weren't given a fair method of voting. All that we're asking, we're not asking to change any of the election results, we're just asking to allow the Kent School to vote in a constitutional manner and resolve the issue. It's probably not going to make any difference in the election results, but just from that time, this was what Allison proposed originally, this is the change version. Any other questions? 